everyone welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we'll be designing these cool uh, navigation menus and using auto animate to give them these cool uh, you know animations and transitions uh, as you can see they're pretty quick they're pretty nice um, and uh, they, they just work and you can use these with your app projects or maybe even your web projects whatever you like uh, before starting, I want to thank everyone for 2,000 subscribers. Now that is crazy. And we will keep on growing as, as a community of designers who are willing to learn and who are willing to experiment. Uh, so without further ado, let's just get started. So uh, we will start off with a basic uh, 1920 by 1080 web artboard right here. Uh, this can be smaller as well. So let's just make this slightly smaller. Yep. And inside this we first want to have a rectangle just like that and uh, make sure that it has a slight shadow and um, make sure it's slightly darker than this so it's more visible and make sure that the top left and right hand side have 12 by 12 pixel uh, border radius. If it's like a big block it can be 24 by 24 as well. Uh, whatever you like and um, well let me just give this a you know bigger shadow so 12 by 24 yep now this is much more visible and just give this a slightly lighter shadow just like that perfect and I've already saved uh, a symbol right here this symbol one um, and this consists of all these elements which we had in the menu or in the navigation and uh, let me just ungroup this symbol and make these uh, much larger in size as well. Perfect. And let me just place these in the center right about there. Perfect. And for this, what we're going to do is we will uh, first of all create a circle and uh, make sure that this has no border and put this circle behind this icon. So this icon should be visible right here. And uh, also, uh, give we have to give this a, a blue gradient so from let's do from left to right and just change the uh, gradient just like this and make sure the gradient is this light blue uh, I'll be giving the XD file down in the description so you can download it and start working on uh, on it on your own it was slightly purplish the one which I used uh, you know honestly it can be anything you want uh, this color or any other color and make sure this icon is white um, also these all these icons are basically uh, SVG icons so we can change their structure they're basically um, you know changeable uh, you know and you can make any sort of changes to these icons so that was the first circle what I'm gonna do is quickly duplicate this circle and just make this much smaller just like that and place this inside uh, the circle now, now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly uh, select both of these together and make sure that we click on this add icon right here now this is now one element if you double click you can see there's this circle uh, in, in this also there are two circles right and now this is a complete union so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this article uh, article I'm going to duplicate this artboard and uh, uh, in the second one what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to make this circle the second circle which was inside much larger and I'm going to place it right here uh, just behind this heart or whatever element you have as the second element and this first circle will become much smaller just like that just like the last circle and we'll place it right uh, towards the right basically so that was one animation let's uh, and also uh, one thing I forgot we have to change the colors as well so make sure that this uh, first icon is gray and the second icon is now white uh, so let's try this uh, quick animation out uh, let's see how this works go to prototype and hit the heart icon uh, and bring this arrow from the left artboard to the right one and go ahead and say tap auto animate from the actions and uh, ease we're gonna select snap and 0.6 seconds you can make this snappier or shorter depending on what you like and if you're gonna try this out uh, if I click on this uh, see how this circle just melts in 
Now, here's a small problem. Let's go back to design and uh, double click and make sure uh, that the circle, the second circle which was placed inside uh, is on the left hand side of this first circle, right? Only then will you get that little uh, jelly kind of effect which we were getting. So let's go back here and let's prototype this. Let's go ahead and click on the heart and see how this jelly kind of comes up. Let's look at this one more time. Look at it carefully. Yeah, that is beautiful. Now that was a quick animation. You can do that for all these icons. Just bring this circle to the left. And in the third artboard, just make sure there's a time transition. Uh, you, you know, you can just uh, move these icons. Um, you know, just hold this artboard and uh, go to this third artboard right here and say time. And uh, this, you know, zero seconds delay. And um, how about none and uh, 0.0. .0. So in this third artboard, what we're doing is we just uh, making sure that the circle inside this union the left which was placed on the left is now on the right so that this goes to the next artboard uh, almost perfectly so we just we're just going to do it for one more icon and we're going to move ahead then and here what i'm going to do is uh, this circle i'll make much larger and bring it right behind this camera uh, right behind this camera perfect and uh, make sure it's like that it's placed and uh, make the first circle much smaller and just place it on the left just like that perfect and make this camera white make this uh heart icon gray again once more oops um yeah gray again and that was how it's done so uh, from the third artboard what we're going to do is we're going to click on this camera and bring this arrow here and say snap auto animate and uh, 0 0.6 seconds um, as before. So let's start this again. Uh, if I click on this heart, see how it animates. If I click on this camera, see how this animates. So that is the sequence and that is how you're gonna design uh, this whole navigation menu. Let's move on to the third, uh, to the second uh, design, which is a basic line design. This won't take very long. This is just a basic concept. I'm going to remove all of these icons and all these elements from here. Make sure that the menu is more or less the same. And uh, if I go here, I've already saved symbols. Uh, that is what you see here. I'm going to uh, go ahead and ungroup this, these symbols and I'm going to make these symbols much larger. See how uh, these icons are now lined icons. Now, all these icons I've downloaded from straight from uh, flaticon.com so go ahead and check that website out i'll probably give a link below and these are basically svg uh svg icons so what i'm gonna do here is uh you know as you can see uh, i have all these icons i'm gonna select all of these icons and um, what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and select these icons make sure they're one single selection and go ahead and add these even though they're not placed closely together now they will play the same function and quickly duplicate this and place one copy right here i'll tell you why in a second uh, and i'll create another circle right here and make sure this is you know you can make it any color i'm just going to make it a red a slightly pinkish red just like that and i'm going to place it behind uh, these elements and what i'm going to do is quickly go ahead and select both these icons and the circle and say command shift n or control shift m to basically mask uh, that circle so the circle has been masked by the folder or by this icon and i will place the second copy right below this so you know there is an outline available now what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this artboard and in the second artboard what i'm going to do is if i double click here i can select the circle and just bring the circle towards this heart that was as simple as that and i'm going to prototype it okay so for this prototype we're going to double click on this heart and bring this arrow here say tap auto animate should be activated all times ease out for this one and 0.6 seconds so let's try this out if i click on this heart an animation should take place see how that's like a fluid line animation now this is pretty cool um it's very simple but it really leaves a good impact on the user and it's it's noticeable you know 
Now for the third design, the third design is pretty, uh, it's pretty basic, it's pretty simple, but uh, it gives like a 3D effect to, to the user. So for this one, we're just gonna bring uh, from these symbols, uh, the, or the designs that we had earlier, I'm just gonna ungroup this symbol and make these icons much larger. And I'm gonna place them in the center of this rectangle. Perfect. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, make copies of all of these. So I'm just gonna group these together or maybe just uh, select all of these together. I'm just gonna make copies of all of these. And I'll give the all of these uh, like a purple shade, like a interesting purple shade. Uh, and I'll give all of these the same shade. I'll use the color picker and just make them all the same shade. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of these and make all of these much, much bigger. Just ex exponentially like two to three times bigger. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring them much closer as well. So just drag this and bring them much closer. So they're something like this and make sure this centered over here and above all these icons. Now what I'm going to do is make sure this slightly bigger uh, as well, just, you know, corner to corner on this card and place them right in the middle somewhere, right? And just make sure that the opacity is set to zero. Now what I'm going to do is I am, first of all, for the first selection, I'll just make this folder visible and make sure that this folder is of the same size as the background folder right perfect now i'm going to duplicate this artboard and for the second artboard i'm going to make this folder much smaller place it in the center of this folder and make sure the opacity is zero for the second one i'm going to increase the opacity of the heart and make sure it's the same size as this heart and place it right above the heart now that's perfect and I'll show you one more. I'm gonna double click here and on this heart, I'm just gonna make this uh, heart much smaller, maybe even smaller than that and place it in, in the center of the heart and say 100% opacity, 0% uh, opacity, sorry. And the camera's icon should be 100% opacity now and bring it to the same size as the camera is. Uh, make sure it overlaps each other and perfect. Now let's try this third animation out as well. Let's prototype this and on clicking the heart, I should just prototype it to the second artboard, say tap, auto animate, and I'll use snap for this animation. And 0.4 seconds is just fine. And I'm just gonna keep on doing this for all these icons. And let's try this out. Uh, so if I click on the heart, it should just, uh, I have like a 3D effect. Perfect. Click on the camera. Perfect. See how it's an interesting, uh, three, almost three-dimensional, but very simple animation. I hope you liked that video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon to get my videos before everybody else. And also like this video, share it with all your design buddies. And I will see you every Monday and Thursday without fail. Uh, God bless.